okay so today we are going to discuss about configuration of routers switches and the basic introduction of simulator which name is cisco packet tracer so this is you are watching on the screen this is cisco packet tracer simulator so there are so many versions of cisco packet tracer like 6.1 7.1 8.0 there are so many so when you download cisco packet tracer from cisco websites or any other website so it will ask you for the login so if you have cisco id then you can put in that and you can practice for example if you don't have cisco id you just want to practice there so uh, switch off your internet and after that you can just use it for practice so we have to work on this simulator and how this simulator work so let's starts with that but before that we have to know about router and we have to work on router what are the modes of routers and what are the ports used in router so first of all i am opening notepad so what is a router router is a network device yes router is a wan device which is used to connect another different network devices with each other like different network, network device ID. network ids with each other uh, it is used to find the path from source to destination, destination. yes good so router is a hardware device so it has some ports like ethernet ports serial port as well as uh, auxiliary port and console port like if we check it in hardware so like i'm going to open any router there like this is 1841 or another router if you open this router and zoom this then you will find ethernet port like lan cables are connected with this console port auxiliary port and here the port is open so here you can add after like off the router you can add hwic 2t port this is called serial port serial high speed wan interface card so just drag this and add this okay in reality i have if you will if you want to check in original then i will show you this router also so similarly we have so many routers in which we have some common ports of routers like ethernet serial auxiliary and console ethernet port can be fast ethernet as well as it can be giga ethernet so ethernet port is used to connect lan like lan connectivity will be there serial port is used for router to router connectivity router to router connectivity auxiliary port is used for modem connectivity and console port is used for configuration of router like if you want to configure the router because in cisco packet tracer you can click on this but in original you are not able to click on this in original what you will need you will need a pc you will need here we have some cables you need a console cable after connecting console cable with rs232 and with console port you have to open the terminal and then you can start the configuration like in original i am watching in original in cli or oh sorry device must be power on or uh, on the router of this terminal okay yes like this so in original you will like this and after that you have to do some code okay so when you will come here i will let you explain this but on cisco packet tracer you can also do the same things so these are the ports now we have to discuss what are the modes of routers like modes because we have to configure the router uh, before this video we have done with the like network devices we have done with lan and wan ip addressing subnetting now we have to configure that thing on our router so first we need to know the modes of router so first mode is user mode second mode is privileged mode or you can say enable mode 
and the another mode is global configuration mode these are the basic three mode user mode is like a desktop layer like your user mode starting when the router will start this mode is known as user mode privilege mode is used to set some privileges uh, like we are going to start it with some basic command show run show history so uh, we are what uh, we are saying this this is the enable mode and in global configuration mode all the configuration all the configuration will be done in this mode like if you want to give interface ip if you want to do routing if you want to set any security all the things can be done in global configuration mode we have some another modes also like interface mode like line mode but we will discuss that mode day by day okay so first of all we need to know about only these three modes now okay in cisco back address we can use directly from here like in command line interface okay i'm going to just switch off and switch on the router again so it is booting now after booting when first time you will visit on the router you will get this question what do you like to enter the initial configuration dialog yes or no it means like you want to configure automatic or like static so we have to write here no no means we don't want any dynamic uh, configuration we want static mapping if we write yes for example first time you write yes here like i type yes so it it will ask again question from you like would you like to enter basic management no would you like to uh, see current interface yes would you like to set host name yes but if you don't know these things how you can explain these things you don't know about anything so that's why i told you when you will start your router you you don't have to type yes here you have to type there no so after typing no here the first mode comes that name is user mode now we have three modes user mode in user mode router look like this now you want to go from user mode to enable mode so we have one command enable when you type enable command here then router will automatically will be in this mode like hash hash mode is your privilege mode this one okay this is your user mode this is your privilege mode and if you want to enter in global configuration mode then the topic is configure terminal okay so now all the configuration is in this so by default we have a mode like this we have put the command enable it will automatically enter in this mode after that we are using command configure terminal or in short form you can write config t then router will go in this mode so we have three modes okay so enable and configuration terminal is your basic command now if you want to go back then you can use command exit again you want to go back you can use exit enable config understand now now we have to start with some basic command that you need to know before configuring ip addressing basic commands of routers we have so many commands like we will start with some commands in enable mode first i am going to start with enable mode okay so in this mode we have to use this command so my first command is show run we can write it as show running config first i will write the commands after that we will implement that command on router show running config show startup config these are the commands show uh, ip interface 
brief uh, show version. After that, show history. These are some basic commands. Show terminal. One command is used to change the history. Terminal history size. Show IP root. After that, show run. Erase startup config. Before this, one more command is there. Write W R I T E. Write command. Show run. Show startup config. Show history. Uh, we have another commands like uh, you can check its flash memory. Show flash. Show clock used to set the time. Clock set is the command. So we have hundreds of commands, but we have to work on some basic command. So I just want to let you know, like the important commands are that you have to use again and again. Show running config, uh, show history, show IP interface brief, and show terminal. I will write it in like this. I will arrange it like this. Uh, show IP root is very important. Show history is very important. So the first five commands are very important. Okay. Like up to right, up to show history. These command you have to use daily, day by day. Like these command also can be used, but that can be used time to time. Okay, now what is the meaning of these command? Because this is some theory topic. Why we use these basic command? Like show run is used to, to see running configuration of router. Running configuration of router. Okay, uh, let me open any another topology here. Uh, like that is already made a topology. For example, this. Like in future, you have to work like this. It is just a demo. So if you check, if you want to check the running configuration of router, then you have to go on router, CLI, enable, and show run, running config. So what is the meaning of show running config? Enter. So after entering the router, you will see uh, on which port, Router gives which IP address, like on fast Ethernet port, this is the IP address. On another fast Ethernet port, this is the address. Like there is static routing is there, but you have not done any IP addressing or static routing. I'm just showing you to the use of show running config. Like what is the meaning of show run? Used to see running configuration. Now, what is the meaning of show? IP interface brief. This command is used to see the interface detail. Interface detail. It, we can watch the interface detail here. Like on which interface, which IP it is configured, its status is up or its status is down. So show IP interface brief is used to see interface detail. Now show IP root, show IP root command. Now I have already configured this design on new design. You will not get any information. So show IP root is used to see routing table, like routing table is a table in which we can see our direct network and indirect network, like uh, from where we start and where we want to go. So routing show IP root. Now write command is used to save the configuration. Save the configuration. Like when you uh, open the router, when you start coding, after coding you want to save, then write command will be used. Show history is used to see command history. Is used to see command history. Command history is like how many command I have used it before show history i have used enable command run command show ip interface brief show ip root show history but by default show history like the default size of history is 10 
we can watch only last 10 commands with the help of show terminal to see history size. We can watch the history size. Like in show terminal, we can see so many things, but we don't have to work on that. History is enabled and history size is 10. That's why by default, you can see only 10 commands. If you want to change this history size, then command is terminal history size. So zero to 256, like for example, I have set five there. Now in show terminal, you will check history sizes five only. So if you are using command show history, you can watch only last five commands. So these two commands used to change the uh, like history size. Show version, like you want to check the complete version detail of your router. Like what is your router, when it will start. So show version shows your router name is 2800 router. The copyright between 198, one, uh, sorry, 1986-2007. First it was compiled on this date, this, 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 and this. How many ports is there? How many NVRAM? Like show version is used to check the detail of router. But every time we don't have to use all these commands. Okay, if you want to delete everything, like I have uh, delete. Before deleting, we have to check the command show startup config. Before this, show startup config to see the saved configuration. If you want to see the saved configuration, show startup config. Same thing that we can see in show run, you can see in startup config. But if you want to delete all the configuration, erase startup config. Now in show startup config, you will get nothing. So if you erase all the data and after that you use command reload, so now the whole configuration of this router will be erased. So the complete router will be erased. We have to start this router from scratch. Now everything will be erased. Okay. So erase startup config is used to erase. And show flash command is used to check the image file like dot bin. Now we have to like add the dot bin file in this flash memory, like you say. Okay, so we had one, okay. One command that is not used like show clock. This is the clock time. Okay. Yes, by default it was in, so clock set, you can set the clock. Clock set, question mark, hours, for example, I'm writing hours, minute, second, question mark. What is the month and what is the day? For example, I'm writing uh, writing here, for example, 22 uh, December 2022. For example, I have given this. So in show clock, now it will show. This is, if you are writing clock set 2021, it will show 21. If you are writing 2040, but it is showing 2040 invalid, because maybe it will set up to 2035. Okay, this is the set, time set there. Okay, so these are some basic commands. So we have to work basically on these commands only. So hope this, this will be clear to you. Basic commands, how to work on router. Dario, it is clear? Yes, sir, it's clear. Okay, then, after that, I will share video, then you have to practice this and we will do this. So after this, we, are, we have to start work on IP addressing because these are the basic command. Uh, how you can implement these command, when you can implement this command after configuration of IP addressing. So now in my next video, I'm going to explain you about IP addressing with subnetting. Okay, thank you.